Yeah, hi guys. So, um, yeah, just noticed something there with the Hebrew. I was watching this guy's video. It was pretty interesting in that. So, um, cause it, I don't you guys probably notice is a lot of people will say, oh, well, you've got to read the original Hebrew and blah, blah, blah. And go through it that way sort of thing. Um, then you'll get the truth. So, well, let's have a listen to what this guy's saying here. Sometimes interchanged. And you can also see this in our translation of the Hebrew Gospel of John, where Yeshua uses light to mean glory. So let me just show you, in the Old Testament and in the prophet Isaiah, this Hebrew word shachar is used positively, and it doesn't mean morning star. This verse says, to the Torah and to the testimony, if they do not speak according to this word, it is because they have no light. The Hebrew word for light here is shacha. So the converse would be that those who do speak according to the Torah and the testimony will have light. Because those who don't speak according to the Torah and the testimony do not have light. So you see, there's no problem if it says, he who overcomes, I will give him shacha, I will give him light or glory, or something of the like, it does not mean morning star at all. It doesn't say kohav ashachar, it just says ashachar, I will give him the light. Okay, now let's look at the second and the most important uh, verse here in Revelation, where in the Greek version, Yeshua supposedly claimed, I am the bright morning star. What does it say in the Hebrew version? It says here, Ani Yeshua, I Yeshua, wa ani shoresh mi mishpechot David. Even I am the root of the families of David. And that is the end of the verse. It doesn't add the bright morning star. That phrase does not exist in the Hebrew revelation. So just to show you that this really is so, let's have a look at the Hebrew manuscript. So this is the translation that anyone can download from hebrewgospels.com slash revelation. And it includes photos of the translated folios of this manuscript of Revelation. So let's now go to Revelation chapter 22 in this manuscript. Let's zoom in and move over to the last chapter. There you can see Perek Kaf Bet, that's chapter 22, and now we need to read in verse 16. It says, Ani Yeshua shalachti malachi, I Yeshua sent my messenger, laharot laaida, to show the assembly, wa ani shoresh mishpechot dawid. Even I am the root of the families of David. And then verse 17 starts, And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. So very clearly, the Hebrew revelation does not say that Yeshua claimed, I am the bright morning star. This phrase is not... Yeah, okay, so... <clears throat> that, that's something I've been struggling with. Um, I, I didn't think that bit's right either and i'm pretty sure for the writers um the 48 scholars or of the kjv also knew this that that doesn't seem right and i'm also pretty sure the guy who wrote it would have known that this is not right so who wrote it was he a hebrew well it was written by jesus disciple and apostle john on the greek island of Patmos by Asia Minor Coast. The book is addressed explicitly to the first seven churches of Asia Minor, a land in which uh, Cornoin Greek was widely spoken. Alright, so what we need to understand is this was written in Greek, it was not written in Hebrew. So <clears throat> This guy here with his photographic proof, evidence, 
is proof that the Hebrews have no qualms of changing scripture to suit. They, they will cut out what they don't like. Alright, so <clears throat> I'm thinking God put that there on purpose to show um, after, you know, after Jesus turns up and that, the Hebrews will Hebrew writers will change scripture to suit themselves so that it fits what they feel is correct. All right, and I'll point out it also says under here, which everyone goes uh, goes on about, for I testify unto you that every man heareth the words prophecy of this book. If any man shall add to these words, God shall the plagues. Right, and if any man shall take away from these words, right. So I, I'm guessing these guys have already experienced these plagues, <laughs> and um, God shall take away his part of the book of life. So this was a warning. Um, to that Hebrew fellow that wrote that, um, wrote to that writing, not to change his words, right? And this is to show that they will, and they will do it, all right? So that's why I'm, <coughs> I'm thinking that's there. Um, so when it comes to trusting Hebrew above Greek, no, all right? Because uh, they didn't, most of them didn't want. Um, Jesus have rejected him, I'm guessing, so this, this would be why it was done in Greek, so that, uh, people wouldn't, uh, worship the Hebrew writing itself, right, which, which is a respecter of persons, which comes sort of under that category, you're holding Hebrew up above, <clears throat> Hebrew writing, any Hebrew writing, up above Greek, right, when God chose Greek, to give you his words in obviously all right so um just something to think on there all right god bless guys